Hello everybody, Richard here for Velo29. This is your essential pre-event briefing for the Lincoln 262 and 161 Challenge Sportive. Everybody, we're super excited to see you in your tomorrow morning. This is the only briefing you will get. There is nothing on the start line due to COVID rules and regulations. So listen up, please try to get to the end of it. I'll do my best to keep it less than 10 minutes. Okay, so starting with a very important safety message. Everybody, this is a challenge event on the open road. It is not a race, despite what you will tell your friends in the office on Monday morning. It is not a race. The rules of the road apply throughout, okay? So ride with consideration to yourselves, to others, to other road users, to everything. It is an open road event. You will encounter all of the obstacles, dangers, challenges that you will encounter on a standard day's riding. And it is an open road event. Sportives on the road of Britain are a privilege. We want to maintain that privilege for ourselves and for everybody who takes part. Please don't spoil that by taking unnecessary risks. If you're thinking, this is, you know, I want to get a great time, I want to go as fast as I can, and at any point you're approaching a risk and that thought is in your head and you are exceeding your normal perception of danger, stop and slow down and think again. Do not take a single risk in the aid of a fast time. It is not a race. It won't make any difference. You know, cutting off a dog, a car, anything like that, it will not make a difference. Getting back to the finish line in York, having had a great day out, and receiving this great finishing medal is the most important thing. Everybody, please do not take unnecessary risks. Okay, so you've all booked a start time. You've all received a chip pack in the post. On the back of that number is a place to write your, write your start time. Loads of people forget in the excitement of the day. So write it on. Turn up three minutes before your schedule start time. Three minutes is perfect. You're ready to go. We can organize you. We can maintain distancing. If you come early, it's not helpful. You get in the way. If you come late, we will manage getting you off as soon as we can, but you'll have to wait to the side and we will get you going at the earliest opportunity. Do your best to come at the right time. If you want to come in at the auction mat, use toilets, get coffee. That's completely fine. That's separate and in a space where we can maintain distancing. But everybody, come three minutes before your start time works perfectly. This goes on your handlebars. It's super important for identification. It also tells us or helps you get your photographs. You might not care about the photographs. We do care about identifying you. So if in the aid of being aero, you do that, we're not going to identify you. So at least do it so we can read it, please. That goes on the handlebars. Chip goes on the outer surface of your helmet. It doesn't go anywhere else. If you don't have a chip pack for any reason, Please try to take it with you tomorrow. Uh, they cost three pound each. But if you fail, come and see myself and Mark. Again, only three minutes before your start time. We will sort you out and get you off. It's no panic. Okay. If you think, I don't care about the chip time. I just want to have a great ride. Respectful of that. However, the chip tells us you've set off and you have finished. If we don't account for everybody at seven o'clock, which is the cut-off time at getting back to York Auction Mart, 12 and a half miles an hour, then it's a search and rescue operation. So if you put the chip on, so please do put the chip on, and if for any reason you don't come back to York Auction Mart and do not ride under the finish gantry, please let us know so that we can account for you safely. Ring, text, email, just let us know. Be very helpful, please. On the back is a QR code, which takes you to our excellent rider support app. If you use the app, we get an accurate representation of who you are, what is wrong, and super importantly, where you are. A lot of your ability to explain where you are isn't that great. I rode past a cow three miles ago. I think it was sat down and then I turned left. I assume you know where I am. I do not know where you are based upon that. So use the app if you can. If you can't, Send me a text message on the contact number that's on the back. Rider number, I have ridden 30 miles on the 262, for example, and my chain snapped. Then we can get somebody to you quickly and effectively and keep you updated. If you must ring, do so using the same number, but app 
and text message are a more efficient way to get you help. Okay, we will always get back to you. I will always keep you updated. If you haven't heard back from me in a few minutes, feel free to get back in touch again. Okay, super. Um, the route around the first feed, so as you come into Birmingham, well, the first official, there's a pop-up feed at Howden, and then you come into the first feed at Birmingham in the Scunthorpe area. We do our best to find nice, quiet roads. That block of the route is a little bit more busy than the rest of the route, so exercise some caution in there. You know, we come, we come close to busy roads where wagons are coming off for the rest breaks, that kind of thing. So a little bit of extra caution needed there. Expect to have more traffic, especially when you're on your way back if you're on the 262. You're going to be getting a bit tired. You're going to be thinking about the feed. Exercise all that extra bit of caution. Save a bit of energy for that part there. Okay, hydrate well throughout two bottles, fill them at all the feeds. Don't think I'm going to be super aero and light. I'm only taking one bottle. It won't work out. So super, you know, super hydrated. Sun cream on at the start, the sun cream at the feeds, or pop some in your back pocket. And everybody take two tubes, a set of tire levers, and a mini pump. We prioritize breakdown slash medical calls, emergency medical, unforeseen mechanical, person who hasn't taken any inner tubes. We will come help you, but you're at the bottom of the list. It's a big course with a lot of riders. You may well have a long wait. So everybody pack your back pockets appropriately. Okay, when you're out there, I've heard comments like, I'm going to smash it. Um, you know, that's brilliant, but you will not ride further and faster than ever before on the same day. The distance, is set you must do the 262 kilometers or the 161 your speed is up to you do not you know if you're not on the ride a sportive at 15 mile an hour and after one hour you've averaged 21 mile an hour there's only going to be one outcome so everybody plan your day accordingly get back to receive a finisher's medal it is a finisher's medal it is not a starter's medal there is some prestige associated with this so everybody don't do a over, don't overcook it in the, in the search of high speed. In terms of group sizes, so British Cycling Guidelines, which are agreed with the government, is no more than 15 people in a group. Now, an event like this, clearly there's an advantage to riding in a group and an echel echelons and riding through and off and that kind of thing. Do not exceed 15 riders in a group under any circumstances. If we see more than 15, we'll break you up. I ask Please, if any of you are in a group and there is more than 15, take the responsibility to break it into two groups or whatever is appropriate. People will get in touch and say, I saw large groups of cyclists. It was not COVID safe. It was dangerous for other road users. I want to be able to stand by what you guys do and say, no, the British Cycling Guidelines, the government guidelines are 15. We did not exceed that. Don't put me in a compromising position, guys. It will ultimately be detrimental to sport use on the road, which are important to all of us. So please stick to 15 or less. Okay, super important. If we have to ask people more than once, we will remove you from the event. Simple as that. We have to do it. It's mega important to us. COVID safety, road safety, any form of safety, please do your best with it. Okay. There's a cutoff of 10.15 at... Burringham feed first pass if you get there after 10 15 you are definitely not going to get back to york before seven o'clock the auction mart is a great facility they have staff that want to go you know they have to go home they have deadlines and all kinds of things they have to work to so we have to have everyone back by seven and off site by roughly 7 30 so be respectful of that cut off time at 10 15 if we ask you to drop onto a shorter route please play ball and do so. Okay, everybody, that's it. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. It is going to be a brilliant day. Thank you so much again for taking part. We're up for, up for the challenge of supporting you guys in for what many people is going to be the furthest day I've ever ridden on a bicycle. So we can't wait to see you at the start. We can't wait to see you at the finish. Ride safely. Don't take any risks. And... Have a brilliant day. Bye for now.